You acting like I committed mass shooting or something. That Do you think that a bagel shop is really the place to take out all of this anger with all of these strangers, Why public, not? innocent people Why around? Not? Why not? What do you mean take it out and you're acting like I committed mass shooting or something? That do you think that a bagel shop is really the place to take out all of this anger with all of these strangers, public, innocent people Why around? Not? Why not? Uh-huh. Women in general have That's sick, man. This is one. Women in general have said no dating sites. Women in general have said no dating sites. This is gonna be like my claim to fame. Can we um check out check out gangster this one is? Can we do a SoundCloud with that? Yeah, check out gangster this one is. I'm I'm here because President Trump has said ICE will attack thousands of families separating children from parents. Beginning tomorrow, federal agents will begin a nice. nationwide effort to arrest immigrants who nice have been issued final deportation orders. Beginning tomorrow, federal agents will begin a nationwide effort and to arrest. Bagel guy. Yeah. Like Beginning I can see this. tomorrow, federal yeah. agents will begin a nationwide effort to arrest dude, immigrants. Want to step out? <laughs> dude, want to step outside? I'm here because President Trump. <laughs> dude, said want to step outside? Dude, want to step outside? I'm here, I'm here because President Trump. Dude, want to step outside? I'm here because. Dude, President Trump. Dude, want to step outside? Dude, Beginning tomorrow, dude, federal dude, agents will begin a. Anyways, that's just like... Uh, I think you're onto something. Yeah, I think so. I, well, wait, well, I'm just going to do the news. DJ News? I'm going to uh, The news is the blues. Little Newsy. Yeah, they call me Little. Little Paperboy. Little News. Yeah, like, why do they call you Paperboy? It's like, man, back in the day before... Because I'll throw you Before the there news. was rap music, there used to be a kid who'd ride around on his bike and deliver a newspaper to people's doorsteps. <laughs> the Little News... Little Blues. Blues is the news. And then people could talk shit. They'd be like, more like little snooze. Yeah. I'd be like, I already made that one up. So, so there's a bagel guy, and he got angry because he thought people, women didn't like him because he was small, but they actually didn't like him because he had a wrong attitude. Um. Right? No, women women liked him. They still like him. But he had a bi- uh, uh, he, he, had he a just bio. hasn't given them. He he just hasn't allowed them a chance to speak. I've I've heard a, a qualified feminist analyze the whole situation. They say the guy is cute. Who was it, Gloria Steinem? Ninety ninety percent of the feminists I've talked to think the guy's cute. Gloria Steinem. Gloria Steinem, and um, Rosie O'Donnell. Rosie O'Donnell and Whoopi Goldberg. In the cast of the View. And uh. And Cheryl Crow. Do you realize what... You, you always forget about Cheryl Crow. Oh, yeah. All I want to do is have some fun. I got a feeling I'm not the only one. So, did you know his name is Chris Morgan? Not to be confused with Tracy Morgan. Oh, dang. <laughs> Burn. Ouch. So, uh, he had, so, someone uploaded all his... Uh, so he's really good on the YouTube thing. He's, I saw it. Did you see all the videos he has? Did you see where he's cussing out his neighbor? Yeah. For he, his neighbor's like a sales guy, like a online sales, you know, like marketing guy. Is that the one where he's like, you owe me $1,500? Yeah, he gave his neighbor 1500 to market him. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I wasn't sure what that was about, but I saw that. And he just didn't get the return he wanted, you know, on the marketing. Like the phone wasn't ringing off the, off the hook. Yeah, I saw that. Or whatever you want to call it. You can't say the phone's ringing off the I hook. I think that guy could be the next How About That Girl. I think he'd be our next president, because he definitely represents a lot of comp- a lot of complainers. People just want personality. They want. They want. They want to be heard. Well, you know what he's doing really. What? Uh, he's fulfilling the uh, Joe Pesci archetype. Dude. And Joe Pesci hasn't been around Dude. for years and years. In the super, Joe Pesci in the super. So he, yeah. So he swapped. He swiped up. Like, hey, uh, do I amuse you? Do I look like a clown? Get your shoe shine box. I think the guy has a, a bigger backstory than we're allowing him. Well, that's what makes it interesting. I think he has. I think he has a history of uh, acting. Huh. I, I really don't think he's our average Joe. I really think he may be in the thespian arts. You think it's? Uh, yeah, because he's so he has he has clarity. You think he's doing a Andy Kaufman bit? Yeah, Donald Trump's doing an Andy Kaufman bit, that's for sure. Yeah. It's going to be sad when he goes, 
Dude, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm on your side. Take that wall down. Like when he was wrestling women? No, Donald Trump, right before he leaves, he's gonna be like, hey guys, I apologize. Take the wall down. It's coming down tomorrow. Everybody, everybody's going anywhere. And everyone, everywhere. Can, everyone can have abortions. Yeah, everything's, everything's legal. You guys want to do whatever you want. Shrooms. Hey, I'm on shrooms right now. I've been on shrooms all, my whole campaign. Well, actually, he was, um, a few years ago, he was for abortions. Well. But he knew he couldn't get elected with that stance. So he had to adopt the, um, the rest is history. Um. Why do you think it's so hard for people to understand? What? That. Pretty much this is what we got going on in politics. And it's really hard to understand, but there's always somebody that you disagree with. But yet that person that you disagree with is not disagreeing with themselves. Do you agree with that? Oops. Do you agree, do you agree with that? Uh, I don't understand. Okay, someone has a differing view. Tell me tell me someone you hate. Uh, or a view you hate. Like what are you what are you against? Like for example, everybody hates the condos. Yeah. But you ever been in one of those condos? It's nice. Yeah. It's nice. They're expensive. That sucks. It's better if, living than I'm living. If you found a different way to make money and uh, I'd be up there too. and have excess money, you could buy a condo. Now, people are like, "Yeah, but man, what about what about all the what about all the small businesses that were around? I, I they're still there, aren't they? Trunk space is there. Which part am I missing? Well, let me explain it this way. Okay. A hundred years ago, there wasn't anything there. It was just desert. No, the the Ho Com were there. Well, how long is that? Amstazi. How long has that desert been around? Millions of years. So, in the course of fifty years, there's all these businesses that popped up. So, the biggest the biggest degradation would be actually putting a building in the desert. It doesn't matter after that what it is. Yeah, but at least it's far enough from all those chumps over there in Los Angeles or, or New York City. I mean, th- these old town boys, they got out of the city slick and, you know, those, those old people in New York City. Those Billy Crystals? They came out to the desert so they could get the fuck away from these well, freaking yuppies. That's what my par- that's what my family did. Yeah, so. What, I, what I'm just trying to get at is everybody has a different view, right, than yours. Here's the... But is it different to them? Here's the thing about that. I've been here all my life. So every building, I have like a unique memory. So I'm like, you can't tear that down because I have that memory there. Uh Uh-huh. But if you just came here because it's cheaper, you don't give a fuck about the buildings. You're like, look at that stinky old building. I'm tearing it down. I could put something better there. You don't care about the memories. But didn't, did you, what was your favorite toy as a child? Did you play with toys? Ninja Turtles. Okay, Ninja Turtles. Do you play with Ninja Turtles anymore? No. Okay, so why aren't you crying over that? I mean, it's the same as a building. It's a memory. It's a superficial artifice. Because my life was better then. Exactly. So that's what we're getting at. Everything's always better than the past for some people. And for some people who have money, it's better life than... is always better in the future. Yeah. That's pretty much it. So artists and these emotional types, these emotional types, they always like how things work. So I'm They're still stuck on their ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend. So I'm looking at it like uh, things aren't ever going to get better, but they're like, we're going to make it better. And that's or you're still, you're still writing poems about your ex-life or your ex-lifestyle or memory. But the reason they have money is because they can see the future and they can see it's going to be better in the future. By consuming shit. And I can't see that because I was always looking in the past. Yeah. Wow, this getting deep. Kind of. Dang. But but what I'm trying to get at with this is that you're not wrong. They're wrong. Because life is not going to be better in the future. All they're doing is making more waste and they're extracting cheap labor from all over the world just so that we can have these $200 flat screens. But, but I don't think they're that happy when I see them. 
walking around. They're not. Because they're going to be like, they, they're running around trying to get in good shape and then uh, trying to make a bunch of money. And then if you deal with them one on one, they're not that happy. Because they're always striving for something that they'll never obtain. I already obtained what my happiness and it went away because of them. We but, have polar opposite point of views. And so there's this, yeah, so there, but but look what we're doing here. We're trying to create a platform for people to listen to this junk. Isn't that future, future looking? It's content. And we're, we're somewhat apolitical. Yeah. Are, are we? I mean, we are political. I don't know. We're politically charged only to be apolitical. I'm not going to take a stand on anything. Yeah, I don't. Every time I take a stand, someone says it's the wrong one. It's like it's like going to school, man. Everything you do has a freaking right answer to it. I have one stand. I just don't want to be in debt. Are you in debt? I just got out of debt. This Damn, week. dude. I'm, I'm out of debt, too. I mean, I have, like, some hospital bill I got to pay for. debt-free? Yeah. I paid off my student loan debt. Uh, right when I got out, I was trying to get a master's degree, and I accumulated eight thousand dollars. That's what I was in. In classroom, I was good. Do I got straight A's in my master's classes, my post grad classes? What was it for? Uh, social and philosophical understandings of education. So you're gonna be a teacher? Oh yeah, you said you were a teacher. Yeah, I was gonna be a teacher, and then I found out <laughs> no one needs a teacher. Well, I guess someone's. I guess Noam Chomsky's teaching in uh, Tucson. Yeah, I told all those assholes he's gonna be teaching through a freaking teleprompter. And I bet you that's true. All these, all these schmucks are like, these schmucks. They're all like, no, he, his wrink, his ass is gonna be up there teaching in person. I mean, his wrinkled, how old is that guy? Eighty nine years old. Yeah. He, he, he's really, he's, he's, he's gonna, he's really gonna be a freaking keep you awake. I bet. He's ninety four. Yeah. Here's what I'm get about that guy. Noam Chomsky. Yeah. Yeah, why? What? He's a linguistic guy, but he's always babbling on about politics. Yeah, well, he has a dual major. How is that linguistics? He, um, they call it a... They call it a polyglot. Huh? It's a rare... It's a rare... It's a rare... You can do two things at once? Yeah, like, he, he's a language dude. Actually, actually, I'm wrong. He's not a polyglot. Noam Chomsky can't speak any other languages. Well, you know what the... No, um, serious. Did you know that? I didn't know. He, but, every, but a majority of people that are in linguistics usually speak more than one language. Huh. Noam Chomsky is an exception. He can't... But he can read um, extra fast. He's like a bookworm. So how could he... Uh, why is he always talking about politics? Get some attention. It's working, I guess. It's the same thing Donald Trump does. He talks about... Donald Trump talks about politics. Noam Chomsky talks about politics. Politics, but... We listen, we listen to Donald Trump, not, not Noam Chomsky. It's so boring. It's totally boring. Did you know? If he started insulting people and like telling jokes, I, I bet you more people would listen to him. So what do you think the main degree for girl, for women in their uh, late teens? Philosophy. No. Uh, what's, psych- what's, what's their major? Psychology. Psychology. You know, what, you know what it was when I was going to school? Or communications. It's communications. Yeah. Do you know what it was when I was going to school? What? Poli sci. They would even say they wouldn't say the whole thing. That's a, they would say poli sci. That's the fun. That's the uh, I'm gonna find a rich husband degree. No, that's like I don't need a rich husband, but I'll soon later find a rich husband husband by trying to be a rich husband. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? What's poli sci? Political science. Oh, I should have did that. I used to call it poli sci fi. Oh, that's not bad. Political science fiction. I I invented that. So what what what? what you become a politician through that degree or what? Get into yeah, I think he'd become a journalist. Hence, why the girl the people are in. Actually, a majority of youngsters are into journalism. The communications and journalism is yeah. big. It used to be philosophy, psychology, political science, or creative writing. That's what I did. You did creative writing. You write that Great American Novel yet? Yeah. What's it called? Harambe's Last Stand. How many pages you got? Five. So you're gonna have it like in a compilation. Yeah, it's gonna be like the sound and the fury. I wrote this weird story. It's, it's I wrote, re- it's I wrote a this... reinterpretation of sound and the fury. 
but I, for a modern day context. Oh, what, by oh really by Faulkner? William Faulkner. It's a Faulkner, uh, gothic, uh, gothic western. Yep, yeah, he's my main inspiration as far as writing. Really? I could never get into Faulkner. I but you probably like James Baldwin too. I never read it. Because James Baldwin's pretty much a Faulkner. I like William Faulkner because um, I had to read it four times to get it, and then it blew me away. Which one, Sound of Fury? Yeah. That was the book that blew you away? Yep. Do you know what book blew me away? What? Um, it's lame, but... How to Win Friends and Influence People? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that, that book... That came later. That book blew me away too, actually. <laughs> yeah, no, you know what book... Uh, it, well, let's go back and forth. So the book that blew me away literature-wise was Portrait of an Artist as a Young Man. Actually, it's funny you brought that up, because as you were saying that, I was going to tell you I was also blown away by Ulysses. You read that sucker? No, but I would. What school were you going to to read that? ASU. ASU. You were in the creative writing. Had you read Ulysses? No, uh, I'd, I read it later. That's tight. I read. It, I read it. But I'd read Sound of the Fury for that. That's I cool. I didn't know about it in high school. All right, so do you know Sound of the Fury like in your brain? Yeah. Pretty good. I'll read it. I, I have it. I, I have it somewhere. I can tell you what everything means in it. Oh really? Because you took a whole class on it. Like how it switches perspective, but doesn't really tell you. Oh really? But um. That's pretty cool. It's hard to... If you read it the first time, you can't. It's too confusing. But I had to read Lolita. Oh, that's cut. That's good. I had to read... Um, like Carson McCullers. I don't know. She's pretty good. She's, oh, is it a female writer? Yeah, she's not as... Um, she's like... Um, Southern Gothic. What was her name? Carson McCullers. Never read it. Never read her. I had to read... Um, Anyways, this is good. Um, okay, so the book that the book that the self help book that blew my mind when I was uh, an idiot, like nineteen years old or eighteen years old, Psycho Cybernetics. Never read it. By Maxwell Maltz. Huh. Classic text. Is pre Tony Robbins bullshit, pre NLP. It was a nineteen seventies book. It was a breakthrough self programming book. It was actually about self programming through affirmations and positive thinking. Actually, um, I joked about how to win friends and influence people. But that was your favorite book? That was another one that blew me away. Ugh. What was yours called? Cybernetics? Psycho-Cybernetics. Yeah, it was a goodie. Hmm. It was a good one. Um, like I said, it was uh, the whole book's premise was anything in reality. There's no way reality can be hemmed in by a single sentence or a single perspective. Do you, you follow? Yeah. Like, Donald Trump's evil. That really doesn't encompass exactly him. It's like you can look at everything from a different point of view. Multiple. Not even just the... Not, not, not in the lame sense. Not the positive point of view and not the Like negative. a feminist point of view or a... It's not even that. It has... Modern. Everything. Uh, there's all. There's millions of them. Which one do you want to choose, and which one will work for you, and which one are you willing to try out to improvisationally act? So, for example, like the Andy Kaufman bit. The Andy Kaufman is a perspective in the stage. Is the empty sheet of paper like a creative writing person? Here's a sheet of paper. His wasn't a sheet of paper. It was a stage. He's, he's, so he went on as a perspective of a character. And that's the one you want to try out. Because anything can be tried out on an audience. You know what he made? Yeah. He made the audience the art. Yeah. Well, he was... He He was a mirror. He was open He was open to their their responses. He was a mirror. Mm -hmm. And then he made you look at yourself, and that was the performance. Yeah. Which is a perspective. Because usually, if you're watching a performer, you're hidden. Because mm -hmm. they're like... You know, you look at a painting, and you don't have to worry. You're not... There's also the you, artist is. Do you, you ever hear the thing where like the thing that people hate when they become famous is the audience now controls them because they want the encore. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like they're cla Like if you're a great comic, they're clapping before you even finish the joke. That's why I stopped doing comedy. Yeah, you got too famous. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that sounds about right. Um. Back, like the bagel guy. Thousands!
Sounds like a guy would come in here. Fuck Donald Trump. He's a he got a big hump. He's a Trump. What that say some? He's a Trump. I'm here because President Yo, it sounds like you got a lump in your throat. How about I soak this this rag full of gasoline for my mother tub? Your mother trucker. Thousands of families suffering children from parents. Um what happens if you put Norm Chomsky quotes on that? I you was gonna, I was gonna get into that. You'd actually make them interesting, dude. I so You'd like, make them listenable. So you, you know what was hilarious is when I was going to college. Everybody loved Noam Chomsky. Yeah, it was like. Cool. And I used to write these essays, dude, because I was in the humanities and shit, and I would just write. There's, you, you don't have to do anything great. You just gotta write. If you can write, like, just type shit and then make it coherent and just know, like, when you're getting lost, you can go back and make it. Yeah. Trim it. <laughs> That's academia. It's academia, pretty much. It's also whatever shit we read. Think about how much of these assholes... It's regurgitation. How many people do you know can't write where the shit, yet they're called writers? Everyone. Like, they're writing Java articles. Uh, you ever read a Java article that's about, like, dude, this guy's a great writer. I read, like, a sentence, and then I just look at the pictures. Yeah, that's what I do. I swear to God, every Java article sounds like a, uh, some sort of online dating profile. Yeah. I got a dog. I spent my whole years with my mother. She's ne She was never around. I like hiking. I like hiking. <laughs> Nothing's, nothing, nothing I read surprises me in that, in that mag. It looks nice. So what do you think about calling this podcast like Java Magazine? Come at me. <laughs> try to, try to sue me. Yeah. Sue me. So sue me. <laughs> you remember yeah. that was the statement back in the 90s? That was my catch. So sue me. That was my catchphrase two years ago. Oh, was? So sue me? Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to bring it back. And then I, when I did comedy, I'd be like, so sue me. I'm going to make a, I want to make like a, like a, a pho noodle place. Sue me. I'm going to make a pho noodle place called so sue me. Oh, that's good. There's another one called. sushi um, in there or something. Sushi and pho. Like a, uh, a pho king. Yeah, pho king. Pho, pho that dude, that dude, no joke. Stole my, stole my little crown. It's no, they they, they said so fuck so fucking good. Dude, he, hey, no joke, that guy. You seen his logo? Wait, I didn't even know there was a place. There is. It's over on the. It's over on Tempe. Yeah, I didn't know. He took my crown, dude. Really? Yeah. Well, that's how you know you're making an impact. Yeah, but he didn't put the period. He closed the crown off. Where Basquiat doesn't close the crown off, he keeps his. Like the middle of the crown's open. Mine goes just. It's like a zigzag all the way to the bottom of the crown. Because it's a Z. It's a Z, yeah, sure. Zuka. Stands for. Did you see my. Did you see my remix? Of, uh, I'm, I'm, in, I'm gonna get you, Zuka. Did no. you see that? You didn't see that shit? You serious? Should we go. Should we pull your public access thing? Uh. Or would that be boring? I like, don't know. to, to try to watch it. It's hard to keep say. Talk, keep talking. Uh. Well, uh, shit. I don't know what to say now. Um. Well, there's a lot of things to say. Look at all these Fortnite shit. You got a new subscriber. Where? It said it on the, um, notifications. What should I put in here? To see that? Check out my check out my search engine. Ross G. Ice Raids. Chris Morgan. Abe Zuka. Planet of Apes. Jordan Reike. Huh. You know who Chris Morgan is right. Not to be confused with Tracy. That's Morgan. the little guy. Yeah. What, hey, they put your. What should I put? Eli Kluger. Uh, Lewis Live. Lewis. Yeah. Live. Yeah. This one. Uh, R. I. Lewis. What is it? A. R. I. And then a space. Dude, Louis life got you shit, man. He got took your shit out. This one? No. Keep going. Damn, man. You're hard to find, dude. Keep going. There's that asshole. I don't know. Ari Shafir. Ari Louis CK. This one? This one? No. No, 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 no. 
Dude, no one's gonna find you on this. I know. I don't want them to. Uh, it should be down a little more. It's right there. This one? Uh, yeah, that one. You're- Oh, that's you young, dude! Yeah! Yeah, man, you are skinnier back then, bro. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's me and my thinnest. I tell you what, man, good thing you're eating them salads. Dude, you- Hey, man, you are an attractive dude, bro. You got them- You got them eyebrows like, uh, uh, Ben Affleck, bro. I know. I let myself go. Dude, you look like a Ben Affleck double, dude. Yeah, I got a le leather jacket. That's what happens when you don't care about yourself. How old were you there, bro? Like 19. Oh, man, dude. You're a good-looking dude, man. You get laid a lot or what? No. You serious? These girls are prude, then. I didn't know what I had back then. Yeah, you didn't know, you didn't know what you had going on. Should I, should I keep, your, keep you looking at yourself? Look at it, man. You got some... Look at it. You can get back there, dude. You can get back to that guy. I'm try, I try to get back to my old guy. I don't really have any old shit of me just talking. Are you on YouTube? Like, bright old... No. I would run every day when I was there. Were you a track and field guy? No, I just run around Metro Center like a mile. Two. Dude, look at that leather jacket you got on, too. You were hella pimping, bro. What are you talking about? Were you doing stand-up back then? Uh, just a little bit. A little bit? I but did... were you trying to break into Hollywood? I was doing movies. You were doing movies? You were doing, uh, what's that, what's that movie? Phoenix uh, Rising. You no, know, the Joe. The freaking cowboy weird fucking one on Grand. Joe Leslie cowboy. Barton's in it. It's like an hour and a half film. I don't know that one. Oh, fuck, dude, something brought up last night. Man, I would like to get someone else on here, but we I thought we could just, um, let me another beer. And then I can get into, uh, breaking down the whole dynamics of what it's like to be short. I should put that as my profile pic. Dude, hell yeah, dude. Would we that, should, would that we be should, funny? We should get some guy to fucking clean that shit up, make it look all contemporary. Like, just unpixelate it. Get I could say that's me now. Yeah, and just, like, throw it out on there. Maybe we can do, like, a sound bite. Dude, I'll try to bite some, I'll try to get someone glitch it. Where you start saying certain statements that are really cool. Yeah. So what was your whole shtick back then? Uh, public access. Uh, but what was your angle? I was like Andy Richter. Who's Andy Richter? For Conan O'Brien. Oh, is that what you're you were going to do that? Yeah. Watch it a little bit more. Is this good for the audience? <laughs> oh, this guy was a tough guy. Oh, this is classic, dude. You know what this shit was? We they could get call, we could get callers back then. Yeah. So like, uh, what what did they call that class back in high school? AV class. Audio video. So we had an audio video department back at uh, North Canyon High, which Public was access class. Did you do that through the school? No. Who had the setup? Uh, access Tucson. Oh, you would actually use their studio? Yeah, I'd go on Access Tucson. How would you how'd you get that together? He set it up, and then I just went down there. Shit, that's pretty solid. Yeah. So, like, dude, you're you're you are you created podcasting. I know. And now you're gonna be here at the end, because what this podcast is about is about the end of podcasting. Well, I wasn't uh, I wasn't able to profit off podcasting. Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. Because um, I was doing it back then, and I even had a show on Axis Phoenix. Yeah, I mean, dude, a lot of people had shows. I had a buddy that was do was part of the audio video department at North Canyon High School. We would talk about the news. Like, what was news back then? Um, gay people. Really? Do you remember all the crazy shit you could talk about? 9-11. 9-11? Dude, I wasn't in... Oh, you were... So this is when you are 19? Dude, I wasn't... It was like right when I was in college. I remember when 9-11 happened... I was surprised my whole day went by fine. I remember where I, I was still able to go to the record shop. I was still able to buy my Wendy's 99 cent double bacon cheeseburger. I remember where I was. What? 
I want to finish college. And what happened? I just went to classes and... It was fine, right? It was sort of empty. Oh, it was empty? Yeah, and people were like, what the hell's going on? Dude, I remember I was listening to the new G11 Special Sauce. That was pretty sick. I was... Remember G11 Special Sauce? No. You never heard of G11 Special Sauce? It's like an old uh, kind of college... Uh, folky rap. College rock. Blues. White dude blues rap. That's so rap. It wasn't so rap. It was more like Bob Bob Dylan wannabe. I used to listen to uh, White Stripes back then. White Stripes? Uh-huh. 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 And a lot of like Limp Bizkit and Kid Rock. Unironically. I Shit, I never to listened to Kid Rock. I listened to whatever they had on Total Request Live. Unironically. I'm gonna get another beer. Do you wanna do a song or something to him? Or I can just play this. One, two, one, two, one, two. Myself and I look, I thought I was thin, but back then I still thought I was fat. Dude, you had a you had a bulimic issue or something? I guess so. You know what? You gotta look at it like this. I kind of look at it too. Like when I when I look when I see myself young, I was like, dude, no one. If I was the guy that I am now, and I'm sure you'd be the same way. If I was the guy now looking at me when I was that uh, nice looking, I would punch that dude. And I would jump because he has zero experience. Yeah. And then when I look at myself in the mirror now and just see how beat up and shit I look, it's like, dude, I have a fucking. I'm like at the Bible. But what happens if I had all that? I'm like the leather bound Bible. What happens I'm like if I, the Dead Sea Scrolls. What happens if I had all that experience when I was 19 that I have now? Well, you're full of shit, dude. You must have been full of yourself. No wonder why you thought you were fucking fat. No, I mean, what if? It's just a what if. Oh, it's a what if? I didn't have that. Shit. You better have, like, a single mom that's... You'd be, that you'd, be, you'd be a god. The only person I know that may have had that many experiences when they were 19 was this dude. He was a uh, part of the wrestling team, and uh, no joke, he had a real hot mom. A real, like, she was a sexy mom. Like, she was flirtatious. And she used to, like, uh, she used to really have, like, very intimate relations with her son. And we all saw it. I mean, but she was hot, dude. So she taught him the ways? And I think he knew that his mom was hot and that he knew that she showed him a lot of, I don't know, man. We all assumed that he may have fucked his mom. <laughs> but we were kind of like this. No joke, dude. I'm telling you, when I was eight, 17 years old, me and a bunch of other dudes were kind of like, well, dude, his mom's hot. So we didn't really think of his incest. We we're like, dude, he he looks like he did f have some really good pussy because the way the dude held himself, the, he, wa he like, walked with a swagger. He walked with a swagger. He talked shit to to women. He didn't give a shit. I mean, it was like he he walked his own way. Yeah. And he's scared because he had sex with his mom. That's why. <laughs> think about it. He's probably the only one in school that had sex with his fucking mom. <laughs> but he didn't come off like a freak, dude. He came off like a fucking crazy. Dude that has a million experiences at 19 years he old. He gave him out. He gave. He made it. She made him into the alpha. Yep. That's what me and my friends. I was like some old, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. When you're out playing basketball, shooting hoop, we used to bring that shit up all the time. I used to um, wear contact lenses. I got better haircuts. I would use. I'd exercise more. What was your exercise? Running around the metro mall. I would, uh, no, like, I would jog, say it was, like, 110 today, I'd just run around the park. I'd run every day. I would do all that shit, too. Why aren't you doing it now? I don't know. I, I'm just like, I mean, let's... let's be straight up with you. You can ask me a straight question. What, what do you think got you fat? Eating 
eat shitty, like pizzas. Just eating pizzas like crazy? Just... You just start eating pizza? I think it was depression. I was fat before, though. But then I lost all that weight. Oh, you were? Like in elementary school and stuff? In middle school? I was fat before that. Like, I got super fat. And then you got skinny because you wanted to get some... You wanted to get some pussy or something. Yeah. Yeah, that shit happens. But then, um... Uh, I, I was fatter than I am now, even. Before that. Yeah, but you know, there's people... Do you ain't that fat, though. Otherwise, I wouldn't bring it up. I know you ain't that fat, so... You, you just, you're just you're just self-conscious. But, you know, whatever you want to do. Sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, we can go on that topic. Like, you know these dudes that take too good to care of themselves? They're always working out? Yeah. They still have a hard time getting chicks or even being comfortable in public. They're the, uh... They can't, they can't even act comfortable. They, they're not even good civilians. Actually, you know what chicks like better than anything? What? Just confidence and you're comfortable with yourself. No, I know what they want. They want a little bit of money and a little bit of forgiveness. And but looks a little bit more money than they want a little bit of forgiveness and they want a little more money. In the um in the long run, looks doesn't help you that much for guys. No, you, you know one thing. I can it's say, good if you go into a room and you don't know anyone. Maybe people want to talk to you a little more. But in the long run, it doesn't really help you out. Yeah. Women are very strong creatures. They will have sex with the ugliest men. Yeah. And it will not scar them. Where a guy can have sex with the accidentally have sex with the the ugliest woman, and it may just ruin their lives. For yeah. <laughs> and it's funny because guys are more disgusting than women. Totally. It's weird how that works. And guys, they're well, because I, because hopefully guys aren't as vain as women are. Because if you think about it, if guys were to look in the mirror as much as girls do, and then toy with their body you would see so much disgusting shit that's why I never even start toying in the mirror like someone like for example you know what you know someone comes up to me like my because my daughters or whatever that go like you got a lot of blackheads I was like I pretty probably do you got a shitload of blackheads all over your face and little pores I was like well I don't look that close yeah. in the mirror um you know what's funny though what Guys are disgusting, like, to see naked. And girls are, like, it's beautiful to see a girl naked. But go- but girls are attracted to the ugliness of guys. Yeah, you know what I think makes a woman beautiful? That she that she can't have jock itch. Yeah. Like she can't have sweaty balls. Oh, yeah. But she, she can have a sweaty ass. <laughs> yeah. But somehow sweaty balls, having balls myself... But sweaty ass is sort of sexy on a girl. It's interesting. I like having a penis, but at the same time, there's a lot of fucking discomfort with your balls. Yeah, there is. It always gets in the way. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a vulnerable area. It's a vulnerable area. It's always It's your dangling most around. vulnerable. Dude, I had a hernia when I was uh, 17 years old. You know what kind of hernia I had? What? You know what hernia is, yeah? It's like, so, uh, it, uh, uh, it's like a... a, a it's like a scab in your... No, it's like your, domi- your abdominal uh, muscle has... It falls apart a little bit, and part of your intestine can pop out of your oh, abdominal. Oh, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So there's two ways. It can pop out of your stomach here, yeah. or it can go into your nutsack. Your your intestine can fall into your nutsack, so your nuts are like that big. Oh, God. And so what I would use that to do is... to you? Yeah, my nuts would get that big, and then, as a kid, dude, since I was probably 10, it happened, and then I would just, I would just push the, te- I'd push it back up into my, up to, I would push it up through my nutsack into my, t- to my abdominal cavity. How'd you get rid of that? Dude, one, one day, I was 17 years old, and I told my dad, like, I'm tired, I can't do anything, and he's like, what's the matter? So just not feeling good. And then I kept sitting in the bed because I've been hiding this from my parents. I've been hiding this for a long time because, you know... You, you don't want to talk about it. It's because it's in your general area. I just don't care to show people that Yeah, shit. it's something like that happened to me when I was younger. And so I finally showed my dad my my dick or my nuts. And he says, dude, you got a fucking hernia, dude. We got to take you to the hospital right now. He knew about it? He knew about it because he had it. It's genetics? It's something. 
what did they do to you to fix it? They gotta like put you under anesthesia, put you under, and then they cut you right here. Cause put a new mesh. It keeps it up there. I haven't had a problem since, but I've had. I, I there's times like when I've been the most like unhealthy about myself, most lazy and just degrading about myself. I've noticed my abdominal cavity being loose and just kind of shitty, like my whole body's falling apart. I think everyone has something like that. When yeah. They don't take care of themselves. Like something's the first to go. Yeah. Like everyone has like something or another. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. So that happened. Got that shit fixed. That was like the only time I went to a hospital. Yeah, I only went once too. No, well, I went a, twice. For a hernia. Uh, I had a vein somewhere in my ding dong. And they had to they had to get rid of it. Yeah, because I always had chronic pain. Really? <laughs> yep. When I was like uh, 24. The pain never turned into pleasure. Pleasure. No. It was like, but it could have been psychosomatic. It's possible. It's all psychosomatic, especially in the general region. But I never thought about that until I started reading. I did a deep dive into mm. my pain. Oh, you did? Why it was happening. And you read books on it or you just went every, meditation? Every angle you could imagine. Meditation, yoga, I read books, medical books. Oh, really? And then I got rid of it. Just through your mind? Yeah. Wow, dude. Congratulations. And it was constant always. Dude, I want to get rid of some shit like that. Not not my not like vein dick or anything, but like, <laughs> but I had a surgery. But like I even, some other thing that's pro bothering me. I even had a surgery to get rid of it, and it didn't work. Um, you just have to understand what pain is, the nature of pain. Damn man, you sound like a freaking samurai. Yeah, like Bushido. Anyways, that's a different podcast altogether. The Bushido thing, or or or. Advanced meditation. Bushido blade. Um, dude, so I was looking around for that fucking uh, Marilyn Monroe painting, dude. You can't find it. I'm gonna be straight with you. I can't find any of them. Did some? Did, you sold it, right? You sold that guy. I sold one, but then he returned one. He oh. took the other one. He didn't take Marilyn. He might have. Maybe I'm gonna go look through it later in there. It's gotta be somewhere. You can go to Night Hawk. Chiba Hut's open. Uh, you don't like to go? Do you go to Chiba Hut when, you, when you're off? Yeah, I don't care. You don't care? I like it there. But do we, I could get a ladder. We need a ladder to get up to that window. Yeah. Or wait, did you talk to the owner? Yeah, he says all right. Oh, do you show him a picture of it or something? Yeah. Where should I put it? Above. Up, 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 I was thinking about putting that Snoop Dogg there. Nah. You might be able to, but I have to run that by him. Okay. He, he definitely he... said okay on the Maryland. I think he'd say okay on that too. Yeah, I'm thinking about like I'm thinking like maybe we could pitch him a show. Of, uh, I just do a show for a month of a bunch of stoners. Yeah, he'd go for that. I'm pretty sure. And we could just put it up by the windows. I don't want to say for sure, but I'm pretty sure that's a, that would get, get greenlit. So who tell me like your top ten stoners? Jay and Bob. Jay and Silent Bob. Yeah. Okay, that's good. I do Mitch Hedberg. Chicha I do Mitch Hedberg. Janis Joplin. Louis Armstrong. Oh, I got I got a Louis Armstrong to throw up in there, but I need not smoke no joint. He smoked a lot of weed. I, I need people like smoking shit. Oh yeah. That way y'all know like that's why Snoop has smoke coming out of his mouth. Um, stoners. Yeah, like weed guys. Cheech and Chong. Jay and Bob. Hillary. No. Hillary Clinton. So. Um. Is there any picture? Freaking, everybody's, people have already done that painting of fucking uh, Elon Musk smoking a joint. Yeah, we, I, But you know what would be tight, though? If there was a giant mural of Elon Musk smoking a joint. I memed it at, in, for Chiba, in Chiba Hut. Hut. There should be a mural of Elon Musk smoking a joint. Oh, that'd be Hut. funny. Or who, what would be the cr best mural to put at Chiba Hut? Um, and, and it had to be someone smoking a, f a fucking, some shit. Put it this way for Chiba Hut. The stupider you think it is, the better you th it is. I know, you're right. Like Garfield, so yeah. a fucking, a fucking blunt. The Ninja Turtles. <laughs> hey, bro, Cowabunga! Let me get a pizza, bro. And they're just eating pizza. Bart Simpson just smoking a joint. Yeah, all of them. 
cowabunga, dude. Or ha, what, what does Bart say? Uh, What's the classic Bart lines? Have him have a joint like this, and he's like, stay in school. <laughs> That'd be tight. What about Slimer from Ghostbusters smoking weed? What would Slimer say? Because I want to. He doesn't talk. But let's make him talk. <laughs> say, stay in school, bro. What if he's just like, smoke weed, <laughs> smoke more weed? Smoke more weed. You remember, dude? Uh, you want me to do that? I'll yeah. pitch it. Is there a place for like maybe at least a five foot, six foot by six foot space to do a mural? I to. I don't know. I think so. Because I would love to contribute. I'll pay for the paint. I just need the okay. It's becoming a. Uh, death. But, but at least it's at least it's uh, artistically uh, uh, provocative. What happens if it's all the cartoon characters just like okay? Did you ever see that one cartoon where it was all the cartoons? It was like an anti-drug thing, and um, George Bush introduced it. Put it, it was, uh, if you put it on YouTube, it's called Cartoon All Stars, and they're all like saying, "Don't do drugs." Yeah, that's it. The first one. To the rescue. This, this one, or this one? Uh, I like that one. The, no, that's the. Uh, someone talking about it. Oh, I fucking hate. Wait, how do I, how do I get back? Wait, wait. Uh, no, th this is just like a parody of it. Fuck! How do I get back in? <laughs> Let's see. That's sort of funny. This one. Yeah. And Alf's in it. Oh, you know what'd be sick? Aladdin. Or, or, or Lion King. Oh, the genie. Dude, I gotta start doing shit like that, dude. What about the genie? Dude, that's where I'm gonna get all my fame, dude. I'm gonna find any movie, any children's movie that's fucking blowing up or that being a reboot right now, like Lion King, and I'll have Simba smoking a joint. Yeah. And be like, smoke more weed. And then you can do Bitch. Yeah. Biatch. <laughs> well, from what I hear... Bro, bro. If, if you smoked weed for the new movie, you'd get freaked out because they look real, I guess. I seen the movies, dude. I ain't, go, I ain't getting get scared. <laughs> so I, knew, I saw that John Wick movie. Dude, dude. I do a ping of that dude right there. Is that powder? Oh, they're gonna give them, they're gonna give all sick children fried chicken. Okay. You have to. <laughs> oh, it's. Yeah. You gotta go a little bit past this. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to do Slimer. <laughs> I have no problem throwing up a mural with cartoon characters. Look at all these guys. I'd like to do Garfield smoking a joint, dude. Uh, is there any? Is there any wall space over there? Uh, dude. Uh, I was telling John Logan the other day. I was telling John Logan the other day. I was like, any of these fucking these businesses downtown, I don't give a fuck who you are. If you want your shit, if you want your shit to be something, it is some bullshit. Get me and Eli on, yeah. on the fucking payroll. We got to get on. And we're either gonna drive it into the ground, or it's gonna be the greatest thing ever to happen to you. We'll be their market. But you gotta team. take that risk. Yeah. Because we might drive it in the ground. We're the new Don Draper. But you're gonna give us that freedom. You only live once. We're the new Don Drapers. Yeah. Do I swear to God, I doubt I'd drive any of them to the ground. Unless they start freaking out and drive themselves in the ground. I think we could only help. Like all of a sudden they get protests out there and they all of a sudden go, oh, we're sorry. Oh, God. Um. Oh, God. Well, you remember that Green Hut guy? Green Hut? Or Chiba, uh. Chiba, Chiba Hut? No, Red Hut. Yeah, Red Hut. Oh, when they make fun of homeless people? And he went like this. And then uh, he finally got his name out there, and he's like, I'm sorry! He should have just said, I, yeah, the, the homeless people are laying in. It's unacceptable. Yeah. Embrace it. Don't. I, I remember all the people that are friends with us laid into him. And, and, then the, you know, and the only reason why I thought they should lay into him, because, like, who the fuck is this guy? And I never, Yeah. I, I don't know what the hell they got in there. Um, and then he said on the news, he's like, Andrew Jemsek, I'm sorry, leave Dude, me alone. Hey, hey, we should get Andrew in here, is he working I, I saw him yesterday. Is he working tonight? He doesn't, he's looking for a job right now. This is his job. 
Um, he said he wants to be on the podcast again. I know. I saw him. Um, I just talked to him last I saw, night. I saw him. I saw him um, Thursday night. He worked at Third Space, and I guess they're in transition. What does he go by on Instagram? Uh, he doesn't have it. Oh, it's on the other one? He only does Facebook. I'm gonna, get him on, I'm gonna get him on the phone right now. Watch this. I get Andrew Jim stuck on the on on the horn. Andrew, you there? Andrew. Andrew. Andrew, why aren't you there? Andrew, why aren't you there? Beginning tomorrow, federal agents will begin a nationwide effort to arrest immigrants who have been issued. This part's good. So, what's your view on like women being stuck up? Is that for real? Like, isn't that na isn't that natural to them to be stuck up? I think that I think they have to be. They have to be because like. If they weren't, what do you want them to be? Blow up dolls? They have to because guys are always hitting on them. Yeah, so like this guy, he either want either he's confused with the girls being stuck up or too easy. Does he want them to be that easy? Because if they were too easy for his fucking little short ass, he'd be like, dude, what does she want? Is she a prostitute or does she have V? Because if girls, uh, if they're too easy, then uh, I hate to say this, but there's a double standard. So if a girl. There's okay with being double standard. But if girls get, if, if 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 it gets around that a girl sleeps around, uh, she loses. She's a slut. If a guy sleeps around, he's a player. Yeah, she loses social currency, and they will talk and be like. Either way, each sex is susceptible to getting a fucking catching a fucking getting burnt. What? Either sex can get a VD. Yeah. They can get gonorrhea, they can get the itch, crabs, whatever the fuck. Well, guys don't have to worry about getting pregnant. Yeah. So, girls... Are so, maybe that's where the double standard comes from, you think? Part of it. If she's, like, taking the, her womb that carelessly and fucking these little these little pricks here and there. Yeah. That's her, part of it. I, how about this? How about this for insight? Maybe it wasn't a guy that called a, the first woman a slut. Maybe it was her mother. What did you think of that one? Maybe it wasn't man's fault. Maybe these white patriarchal motherfuckers aren't the people you're supposed to be hating. Maybe you should be hating your own mother. Could be. What do you think about that? Matricide. Fuck. Kill your mother and kill your father too, but... You know what I mean? Maybe your mom, the one that you thought was so innocent, the matriarchy, maybe she's the problem. Maybe all of our mothers are Well, problems. the mothers get jealous of the daughters because it's like I'm jealous of my younger self, you know? Yeah, because they can say. Because I was, a, I was a mother at one time. Well, you just got a new. Would I get a new subscriber? But um, dude, as if I was doing this shit live. Yeah, but um, so the mothers, they used to be hot like the daughters, and then they raised the daughters, and the the daughters get into maturity and they hit their peak, and the daughters and the mothers was like, what the hell? And like all the guys are looking at her, and what about me? I have all this experience, and no one gives a fuck. Then they get angry and they start calling their daughter a slut. Yeah, so it's the mother's it's fault. It's out jealousy a lot. Of time. I believe it. it's the mother's fault. It was never the guy was the the father was never home. He was out like wheeling the axe. He was never home. It must have been the mother that developed derogatory speaking at home. What do you think of that one even further? Possibly. I, it could be possible the mother developed drama, rumors, gossip, self hate, degradation. Maybe it was the mother the whole time. I think it's different in all cases, though, to be fair. Yeah, but I'm...
just trying to I'm just trying to flip the script. Cause I mean the whole time now it's the dude. It's been this white patriarchy who started colonization and war and Catholic fucking the Inquisition. But the dudes have nothing The they, Holocaust. Dudes have no skin in the game really. Cause they could fuck all day long and oh, they're yeah. never gonna have and they're not gonna be stuck with a kid. But that isn't our that isn't the man's fault. God just happened to not give a man a womb. That's all. Or whatever you want to call it. Darwin. Darwin didn't give men reproductive. But wounds. on the flip side, women are more important because they create life inside themselves. That's powerful. Yeah, I can see that. It's it's not it's it's quantifiable. That's part of they the, make one into two. That's part of the divine spirit, that mechanism that does that. Science can't even explain it. Is there any stand up comedy tonight? I don't know. I'm out of the loop. It could be. Dude, we gotta get back in the loop because, dude, I got I got hella flyers everywhere. I, I, I posted up hella of uh, YouTube flyers. I put up like six of those Eli posters, Eli and Abe podcast posters. I, I'm gonna get some bigger ones, dude. That's how we're gonna. I think they do it at uh, Grand Pizza because I started that night. Tonight? Tuesday? It's Saturday. Oh. Why did I think it was Tuesday? Dude. Saturday. Saturday's usually the main headliner, so they don't do open mics. You gotta pay, like, a pretty penny to see someone who's actually good on Friday and Saturday nights. Really? But every other night, it's there's open mics and shit like that. Who's your favorite comic right now? Uh, local comic? Or just a comic? Yeah. Um... I like Eric Andre. Like recent or his old shit? Just his show. Yeah, his show. Norm MacDonald. Yeah, Norm MacDonald's pretty good. Gilbert Gottfried. Gilbert Gottfried. My kids hate Gilbert Gottfried. He's top notch. My kids hate Gilbert Gottfried. I liked Artie Lang, but he sort of went downhill a little bit. I never thought Artie Lang was funny. He he sounded too close to home. I have friends talking about I think he's a liar now. What, like his wild stories? Because he was just a cokehead. He along. was, dude. How many friends... If you don't have a friend that's a cokehead... He was a heroin junkie You're not along. living life. If you, if you don't have a friend that's not a cokehead... If you don't have a friend that is a cokehead, you're not living life. But he's like a really smart guy. But he Artie Lang it, is? He plays it down. Like, what do you mean? Wait, can you do heart well, surgery? Like, he's really educated. Wait, he read Ulysses? Yeah, all that. Like, really? he's an intellectual. Really? But he plays it like he's a... He's a um, Working class guy. Fried all his brain by hunting down that fucking blow. Yeah, pretty much. When I hear his little cocaine uh, addiction stories, sound a little too immature to be like blabbering about. I think a lot of them he made fun of. I mean, he made them up. Yeah, well, he he better make them up because if they're not good, they're not good. Um, my favorite comic right now. Believe it or not, is uh, Damon Wayans. Is he still doing it? No, he's not. But review. He's an actor now, right? Review his stand-up in 1990. I think he has a 1991 that's pretty good, and a 1997 one that's good. Like around living color. Mm-hmm. The average celebrity meets in one year. Ten times the amount of people that the average person meets in his entire life. We listened to that one last time. Got nothing there. That was last week's episode. Mm. See, that tempo is way off. What happens if you played that guy to this song? Morgan. Do you think that... Women in general have settled on dating sites. Women in general have settled on dating sites. Dude, you want to step outside? Dude, you want to step outside? Yeah, that's sick beat with that. I'm gonna 
bulletproof. Hold up, smoke your fuck by the boxes. I make it prove that it's bulletproof. Hold your head, you can smoke your fuck by the boxes. I make it prove that it's bulletproof. Hold your head. I don't know what else to do here. We hit the hour mark. We hit the one hour mark. I don't know how much insight we got brought to the world. Every once in a while, a plane crashes. A baby's born. Eli, Eli remembers his older self on public broadcast. You don't even know what you have until it's gone. And so, if there's anything I can, we can tell any guys. Wild horses could drag you down. Wild horses couldn't bring me down. Personality is more important than looks. Yeah, and if if you don't know if you haven't told someone you love them today, you should. But a big dick's more important than personality. And if you have a little bit of forgiveness, a little bit of money is always better. And a little bit of money always helped too. If you don't believe in God, believe and don't believe in God. And keep your head up or keep it down. And dunk in it. But always keep looking around. Never look down. Always look ahead. Maybe we'll see you on the next podcast. People always love to hear their name. Maybe we'll see you on the next podcast. Maybe we won't. Do you always say someone like, swipe down, swipe up, subscribe, swipe, swipe, swipe this, swipe that, swipe it, swipe it, wipe it, wipe it. Swipe it, swipe it, swipe it.